ちはラブリー商人のマーガレットですあなたはどんなものをお探しですかお客さんじゃないふーんこれが私のとっておきはい、everyone, this is Kroneko. I'm gonna talk about this Margaret. And that she has a recently job plus from the Valentine's event 2021. And the job is Merchant Job Plus. And then I managed to max most of her gates except for the last two gates. And with the gears and memento secret, her overall status is not really that bad actually. But she's a support unit, so it really doesn't matter that much. At least the HP is about 9k and the speed is this high. And then this is the leader skill. For the light units, all of them will have HP plus 50%. And that's it. It doesn't increase anything. And if you master his third gate, he added as well magic plus 10% and all defense plus 10%. So this leader skill is very good for magic attacker with some defense. And then this is the main skill. I will only go through about the job plus skill changes. And then for this first skill, she transfer her jewel to any ally and then your ally will have the jewel cost reduction for 3 turns. And then she transfer her jewel by 35. Not really that bad and the shooting rate is 5 and you can use 5 times. And then for the next skill, she will transfer her jewel to any ally. And this time round, it transfer 100 jewel. It's really a lot. And then the shooting range is only just 2, so beware and you only can use 2 times. And then next is, for the fighters, she will have the HP regen, and during the HP regen status, her move will be 1, and shooting range plus 4, all types resistance increase, and with the luck and jewel regen grading increase, and all of her main skill will have the changes. So this is her main changes for her job plus, and even if you're using auto, she will be using this skill as well. So it's quite good, but the move will be one, so beware. And then if you master her fifth gate, this skill change into the skill usage increase. And then when she besides any ally, only your ally will have jewel regen and area attack resistance. So it's quite a good upgrade for her. And then next is the skill ability changes when you're using this skill. Okay, for this first skill, she will transfer her jewel by 60 and your ally will have the CTR as well. And there's no skill usage, so you can use as much as you can. And then this is the second skill. It is an area HP recover skill. And the higher her jewel is, the higher the recover amount is. So this skill is very good when her jewel is a lot. And then the shooting rate is 3 and the AOE is a 3 times 3 square. And the skill usage is unlimited again. Yeah, it's very good. And then next is the third skill. This skill is a panel with the three turns of status immune. And it disappears after one time. So this skill is actually quite good, but the opponent will also get the status immune if they touch the panel. So beware. And the AoE is a center, three times three within herself. And you only can use three times. So beware. And then next is the fourth skill. It is a moving skill with area charm status on enemies only and during the charm status, the enemy will have all attack grading increase and move jump plus 2. So this skill is very good for PvP or arena if the opponent gets the charm status. And the moving range is 5, quite far away and the AoE is a diamond, not really that bad and with the unlimited skill usage. And then this is the last skill. It is a 2 hit light shooting attack and the higher her jewel is, the higher the damage is and the damage power is based from the luck. So the higher her luck is and the lower the opponent luck is, the higher the damage is. But even though the shooting range is 3, but with the shooting range buff plus 4, the shooting range is 7. So it's quite far away and with the unlimited height range and with the unlimited skill usage. So it's quite good. And then next is the side ability. This is the only changes for the side ability. And it is the area HP recover skill on your allies only. And the higher her jewel is, the higher the recover amount is. So basically it is also a very good skill. And the AoE is a 3x3 center within her. And you can use 5 times. Not really that bad. 
And then next is the rash ability. This rash ability will only activate when the opponent is using any physical attack. And it is a first strike counter. And then for the one turn, she and your ally will have one time physical damage reduction shield. And then for the one turn, their physical attack and dex plus 300 and skill attack can be added. So this reaction ability is really very good, especially the physical attack and the dex up. It is similar with the status transfer. Like for example, if your ally physical attack is 1000 plus another 300, so total will be 1300. And then like for example, if you are using like Holy Brother Charge Dump Tree, instead of 3000, it will be 3900 for one turn, so it's really very good. And the AoE is a center, 3 times 3 with him her. And there's no range limit for this animation. And then next is the support ability. This passive is when you master her second gate, it added as well speed up and jump plus one, with the all elemental resistance up. So the overall upgrade is not bad, especially the jump plus one, so that her jump instead of one become two. And then for the next passive, this is the old passive from the merchant job, and it only increases the initial jewel. So I think these two passive will be the better choice for her. Or you can switch this passive with magic attack up to increase her overall magic attack. So that the damage increase. And then next is the master ability. It increases her magic attack, healing power, and maximum jewel. And there's no adjustment on this master ability, but it's alright. Since right now the overall status up is very good for her, especially the healing power and the maximum jewel. And then next is the Mementos. This Mementos is a limited Mementos from Better Time. And then it increases her maximum jewel for the basic parameter. And then for the group skill, it increases her maximum HP, luck, area attack resistance, jump, defense versus a meal, and jewel cost reduction. And then if you mess with this Mementos, it added as well the speed up. So her overall status size is not really that bad, especially with the jewel cost reduction. And then next is the BJ ability. She will attack your ally with one damage and it knocks the shield and it is a 100% hit. And she will push the ally in front of her. Maximum is 6 square. And then it will activate another skill which is she and your allies will have jewel regen for one turn and only your allies beside her will have maximum jewel increase for 5 turns. And then if you match break this mementos, it reduce this skill jewel usage and it add an extra CTR on the one ally so that the ally can easily scale to the next turn. But the chain skill doesn't have any changes, so beware. And the shooting rate is 7, it's quite good. And then next is the memento skill. It is an accessory and only the NVIDIA unit with merchant job can be equipped. And it increases her initial jewel speed Area attack resistance and jewel cost reduction. So it's quite good for her. And then for the weapon ability is it is a jewel damage on one enemy and it drains the enemy 1.5 amount of the damage. And the damage power is based from the luck. So the higher her luck is and the lower the enemy luck is, the higher the jewel drain is. And the shooting range is 5 with the high range of infinity. So it's quite good so that she can easily use the jewel transfer skill on your other ally. And then if you don't have this limited mementos, you can use her 4 star mementos which is... Well, it increases the dark resistance, strike resistance, healing power, and jewel regen. So this is a good alternative mementos for her. But if you have her limited mementos, you still can equip this mementos at the second slot. So it's okay. And then this is her gears. This weapon is from the Gear Summon, and I think it is a limited weapon, and it increases her Master Jewel, Magic Attack, Luck, and Jewel Gain. So this will be the best weapon for her, and then you can use the weapon ability which is... For the 3 turns, she and your allies will have Jewel Gain greatly increase, and the AoE is a 3 times 3 square surrounding by her. And then if you don't have this weapon, you can switch to... This weapon is also from the gear summon, but it's not a limited. And then you also increase the master jewel and luck, but with the physical attack. And then you also can use the weapon ability, which is jewel regen on your allies. So it's also not really that bad. Or any weapon that has increased the luck and master jewel will be good enough for her. 
And then for the next gear, this accessory you can get from the gear summon, and it increases her HP, luck, or elemental resistance and jewel gain. So with her second gate passive, her elemental resistance is not really that bad. Or any accessory that has increased her HP will be good enough. Okay, for the next gear, this accessory you can get from the Kagura Mementos, but it's a limited, and it increases her physical defense, magic defense, speed, and wind resistance. And then you can use the weapon ability, which is recovers your ally debuff. And then if you do have this accessory, you can equip with anything that is increased the speed, will be good enough. And then this is a Kaigan Lei So. It increases her maximum HP by 15% when you max level, and it increases her magic attack for level 5, and increase her HP for level 10, and increase her speed for level 15. And then for the laser skill, it adds an extra strong versus a dark when you reach level 10. So the overall status up is not really that bad, especially the HP increase, but then it's really an optional upgrade, so even if you never master her 7 gate, it's okay. She's good to go. And then next is the Shindi no Keifu. In order to unlock it, you need to master all of the gates of Elizabeth and Margaret. And then for the level 1, it increases her healing power and area attack resistance. And then for the level 2, it increases her magic attack and charm status attack. And then for level 3, it increases her HP and speed. So basically with the Lei Soul upgrade plus this Keifu, her HP will be super high. 20% plus 26% total. But then it is still an optional upgrade, but it's good to have it, if you really want to use her, along with Elizabeth. And then next is the runes. Well, as for the set bonus, you can equip with anything you like. For my case, I equip her with magic attack and physical defense. And of course, you also can equip with the initial jewel up, so that she can use more skill from the start. And then with the magic attack and with the healing power or maximum jewel will be good enough. The rest is anything you like. Okay, next is... Okay, I'm going to try out at the training arena. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's check her status first. Well, with this leader skill, her HP is actually not bad. 13k and the magic attack increase and all defense increase. And then let's see her normal attack first. I think nothing much. 400. <laughs> and then how about this one? Jewel transfer. I think it's only 35. Yeah, with the jewel cost down. And of course, this would be the 100 jewel transfer. And then how about this skill? Okay, the HP recover is about 6k. And the jewel is about 50%, I think. So what if her jewel is max? Let's see the healing power increase by how much. Okay, let's see how much it increase. Oh, 8k. Not bad. Okay, next is I'm going to use the skill changes. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's check her status first. Well, as you can see the luck really increase about 1.4k. And then let's see the skill. Well, this one is a HP recover. Okay, it recovers more than the side ability skill a bit. Yeah, with the maximum jewel. And then this one is a status immune. And this one is a moving charm status. And then even though her move is one, she still can use this skill to move around. So it's quite good. And with the 100% charm status and with the benefit. And then this one is a shooting attack. Okay, the damage is about this high. And then as you can see, she can shoot quite far away with the shooting extent. Yeah. And then how about the weakness? Let me click, let me click. Here, here, here. Okay, weakness. Ooh, 11k. Not really that bad. Okay, next is, I'm going to test her reaction ability that increase the physical attack and dex on my other ally. And let's see the overall damage increase by how much with the physical attack charge down 5. Okay, let's go. Okay, before that, let's check my Shayna status. Her physical attack is about 800. And then let me try on the last skill, this one. About 7k, okay. Okay, let's check her status first. 
Well, as you can see, it's about 800 plus 300 and times 5. So her physical attack is this high. And then let's see the skill attack increase by how much. Whoa, 15k. Why this? So, conclusion is she is used to be one of the useless 5 star unit. And then she's been untouched for very long. And right now, after the job plus, she suddenly become very good. <laughs> and then about her limited mementos, it is actually quite optional if you ask me, but it's very good to get it if you want. But then, without the mementos, she's good to go with her 4 star mementos. And her skill changes from the last skill is actually quite good since when you're using auto, she will also use it. And then with the charm status area attack, and then her shooting attack is based from the luck, so the damage is not really that bad. And she also can transfer her jewel to any ally and so and so. And she also can recover HP. So she suddenly become a best merchant unit out of nowhere. And what's more, she also can buff your ally's physical attack and dex for your shooting unit or physical attacker with the rash ability. That's very nice. And also can reduce the damage from the physical attack. So I guess that's all about Margaret. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys got any questions about her, please comment. Please start and subscribe if you like this video. See ya, Sayonara. ¡Suscríbete